Hello, my name is Koji Asui, and I'm working for Mitsubishi Air Corporation as a senior chief technologist. I'm also working as a sub director of SIP program supported by Japan government. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, how quantum computing can work with AI, 5G, and laser processing to complete uh, smart manufacturing and open the era of new society, society 5.0. So let me start with the background of myself. I'm key machine supplier to growing and healthy markets. This machine, including electrical discharge machines, laser process machines, shin sheets, and electron beam machines have been developed by myself or my chiefs. And since they have the high global market share, so I think that uh, probably you are using device or products that have parts inside them processed by either of these machines. I'm also a connector of various technology to supply best solutions for industrial customers. I have been discussing about the, the goal image of smart manufacturing, and I have been sharing the results by using YouTube or by uh, uploading documentation to internet or by publishing uh, books, both in Japanese and English. So today, let me introduce a discussion with industry people related to particularly quantum computing. So these are contents of today. I'd like to start with the prospect of the post-COVID-19 pandemic. Then that the first is the role of quantum computing to complete the predict future is going to be discussed. Then I'd like to also explain about the government program to supply solutions for industrial people. The first slide shows the prospect for the past COVID-19. The first prospect is based on history. This slide is showing the contribution of each industrial revolution to the daily life of ourselves, described by the WEF, World Economic Forum at Davos. So the vertical axis is showing the indicative level of human development. In other words, that it is expressing that uh, how each industrial revolution has been contributing to the daily life of ourselves. I think it is clear from this slide that uh, our daily life is mainly depending on the contribution of the second industrial revolution highlighted with the red color. And also it's clear that uh, this year, 2020, has been predicted that uh, it's a key year to say that uh, more and more contribution by the new industrial revolution consists of the third and fourth industrial revolution is going to emerge at rapid pace. And this slide is also shows that the how the in each industrial revolution it has been contributed to make a society style so that uh, we have been defining that contribution of the first interrevolution as society 3.0. And then the second revolution, industrial revolution, is supplying the society 4.0 style. And the new industrial revolution is going to supply society 5.0 style, it's a digital style. And this movement is now, I think that the accelerated by the COVID-19 pandemic movement. Secondary prospect is based on discussion among industrial people. Those maps has been shared to show that also uh, this year 2020 should be the key year. I think that uh, today, companies are very busy to build advanced IT system. And some people are saying that the, the movement 
as a DX or digital transformation. But to reach the final goal of smart manufacturing and to contribute to the Society 5.0, we had to also build a cyber physical system. So this year, 2020, is a very important year and because we had to shift from DX to cyber physical system movement. And I also like to express you about the, the market side. The first target is a smart manufacturing. And the market size by using CBS is estimated to be 1 trillion US dollars within 20 years. I think this number is uh, big, but uh, some people might say that uh, it's big, but it's not enough big. If we, you want to say that uh, this is a result of an industrial revolution. So if we can successfully apply the cyber physical system to smart manufacturing, then that we can apply the same system to other fields because the smart manufacturing has many, many expensive machines. So they can accept that the high price of CBS. But after we apply the system to smart manufacturing, then we can reduce the price of the cyber physical system, then apply to smart mobility and also smart energy. I know that the, the cost requirement for smart energy field is very severe. So if we can successfully apply cyber physical system to a smart energy, then we can apply the same system to a variety of fields, such like uh, smart house, smart healthcare, uh, smart agriculture, blah, blah, blah. So the total market size then is estimated to be uh, more than 28 million US dollars within 20 years. So I think this number is not big. If I dare to say that uh, this is a result of new industrial revolution. So then, what's the role of quantum computing to complete such a cyber physical system? Let me start by using this slide. This slide is uh, showing the overview of cyber physical system as a function of the, the company size. For small or medium companies, employees and mother machines are main production powers. And for medium companies and large big companies, uh, special production lines or machine groups are main production powers. And to use this uh, cyber physical system for total optimization of the production procedure, we have to have a very reliable data twins in the cyber space. And so to apply this cyber system for actual production situation, we had to tackle with three areas of technology. The first area, modern maintenance, because we are going to do total optimization by using model, that means the model must be reliable model. So that the data twin has to be maintained to in response to the small changes in the cyber uh, with the physical space. So model maintenance by using uh, 5G transparent data supported by AI is very crucial technology field. The second field is the model building of process. In some cases, you might find out that the such a process that you cannot build a model because it's too difficult. So then that the quantum computing can be used to support and to supply solution to build the models for such areas, supported also by AI. So let me express how we can build a model for such a difficult area. Uh, this twin based only on production data are not stable. In other words, that if you want to build model only by using your own data, I think it's uh, not stable because uh, it can be very sensitive to small change of material or the uh, temperature or something in the production line. So that uh, you usually lose the reliability of the model. So to obtain reliable the twins, 
these twins must be uh, supported not only by real data, but also big data and also uh, advanced theories. So, Pat Homer and the University of Research Institute has to help production people. And also that the most difficult area is uh, laser processing. So I'd like to use, I'd like to use that, uh, this slide to explain you why laser processing is most important and most difficult to build models. Laser processing is a very high speed phenomenon and to simulate what is happening at the laser processing area, we have to simulate uh, what's happening from the nanometer scale level to millimeter scale level. That means that we have to connect a various uh, simulation code. Uh, so it's very difficult. Also, we need a multi discipline to solve the problem. So we need uh, support of the academic power, state of the art academic power. So after we have that uh, data twin by maintaining the model and by building it, uh, every uh, procedure, model of every procedure, so that we can go to the total validation by using such a model. Then the quantum computing, also supported by AI, is a crucial technology. So this overview of the South Africa system supported by uh, three technology field, and also support your special technology of quantum computing, 5G, and AI. Then that I'd like to explain about the government program to supply solution for industrial people. The first thing is the overview of the program. Uh, this slide shows that the overview of the program and uh, the purpose of this program is to supply a best uh, solution for industrial sites. So let me pick up two examples of solution that we are going to supply to our uh, industry people. The first one is a cyber physical system for processing uh, connecting devices, including 5G and air chips by using a state of the art lithography of UVL. And the second uh, example is the best quantum technology service for industry sites. So we are very happy to collaborate with the various quantum computing uh, service, probably as you are uh, going to provide for us. This slide show another overview of the program. The program is consists of three projects. And the third project is related to quantum computing and it is going to develop a next generation accelerator platform that automatically select optimal computing resources to improve speed and accuracy. So this slide is uh, explaining the more details of how the platform is working for our customers. But I'm not going to dive into this slide. And instead, let me explain that the, the how we can use that platform from the viewpoint of industry people. But if you are interested in the detail of the technology details, uh, you can contact the, the uh, project team of Vasa University, uh, Pixels, and uh, Kunasi. So I'd like to introduce them. Uh, after you receive a request from you. Then that the uh, can, instead of the, the diving into details, let me explain that uh, the basic concept of the platform. The content platform receives a request from customers. Request means a problem to be solved. Then that the platform analyzes the problem to be solved at the best condition for industrial site, and then find out that the best computing service, mainly quantum computing and also conventional computing in the collaborative manner. After that, the, the platform can return the solution for customers, how 
they can solve the uh, problem by using quantum computing and conventional computing very at the most best condition. And uh, I also explained that the, how to use the platform the viewpoint of the production site. Here, the problem is how to find out the best operating condition uh, within that area. So that uh, such area is uh, illustrated as a uh, yellow circle. And uh, first, we have to know that uh, whether it is possible or not, whether we can find that uh, really that the solution to, to the final answer here or not. So I think the quantum computing service, the contract service can easily help us to find out that uh, what they are the possible areas. And then that we can go to the commercial computer service to focus the target area, considering the stability, reliability, sometimes cost, something, and so on. And then finally, we can ask our agency to decide the actual condition for mass production. And I think that the final answer, this red, red point, could be that the source of the competence of the company. So that is very important. So Xperia for external content computing service is uh, here, it's uh, expressed in the, this uh, green area as a content, as a, a service. So let me conclude my talk on today that uh, about the free are, we are key machine supplier and uh, technology connector for our industrial customers. And uh, I must say, have been shared that the forecast after COVID-19 pandemic, and in this company, I consider that they have been preparing for the change towards Society 5.0 from 10 years ago. And the movement is now accelerated by the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And uh, speaking about the role of the quantum computing, quantum computing service uh, essentially required to complete the cyber physical system with AI, 5G, and uh, laser technology. And uh, speaking about the government program to support solutions, we request QAS, Quantum as a Service, uh, to supply for industrial companies, probably with a global quantum computing company. So we are very happy to collaborate with various uh, quantum computing services for various uh, industrial applications probably you here. So thank you very much uh, for your attention, your comments, questions, and request for PDF of this presentation are very welcome. Uh, you can also contact me directly. I'm sorry that my email address is a bit wrong, so you can contact me very easily by uh, using LinkedIn, Kojiasi, or Smart Manufacturing Platform Japan. Also that uh, you can contact the, the, the Government uh, Institute of QST.go. And uh, please uh, also visit the uh, UQST's homepage and also a homepage of LinkedIn that uh, is explaining how we are going to construct and build smart manufacturing platform for Japan for USL. Thank you very much.